All right, guys, check this out. Look at this. It's actually right there. So I'm hoping that this is going to be an Indian head. Give it a one wiper here. Nice. Ooh, so guys, that. if I was doing this in my ultimate coin hunt series, this wouldn't even make it into the collection. It's so old. Oh, oh we got to yeah, be on it. just landed right on it. <laughs> what are you going to do, Kevin? Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Quinn here. I'm here today with Kevin and we're back out at the old logging camp. This is a place that we have hit up quite a few times, metal detecting. So Kevin, you got out earlier in the season and uh, you were pretty successful in this area. What were you able to find? Yeah, I got out here about three or four weeks ago. I found some really nice stuff. It was a really fun hunt. I found about 70% of a two-man crosscut saw. I found a really nice example of an axe head, some brass pieces, and I did find one coin. It was a 1915 wheat penny. So there's definitely some old coins out here. We've known that we found some really nice stuff out here. So it's be a fun hunt. So me and Kevin have been out here hunting for about 10 minutes. I've dug about three plugs. I don't know what you've been up to, but I just got into my fourth plug, I believe, and we already have a coin coming out, and I'm not sure if it's going to be a wheat penny or an Indian head penny. That's usually what they are. Uh, I know it's a penny, though, so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so here is the plug. It's a pretty nice plug, and uh, it ended up being right in the bottom. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a mason jar lid or a penny, but it turned out to be a penny, which I'm really happy about. I'll go ahead and show it to you real quick here. It's actually right there you can kind of see the greenness of it so i'm hoping that this is going to be an indian head kevin why don't you go ahead and pull it out of there yeah. and uh, we'll see what we're going to get for a date this is a lot deeper than most of the coins we found right here so it could be older that's true let's my my little... detector does go a little deeper than yours so let's give it a one wiper here nice Ooh, it's going to be an indian head indian. so that. guys if i was doing this in my ultimate coin hunt series this wouldn't even make it into the collection it's so old oh, oh we gotta be on it, just landed right <laughs> on it. What are you going to do, Kevin? Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's going to sting me. So. Okay, all right, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Look, look, at, look at it that. dry up so quick. Oh my One gosh. cent, the wreath, and the shield. Beautiful. Let's flip Indian it over and see what this side's going to look like. These coins always come out with one really nice side and one side that's not so nice, but they usually turn up pretty nice. So. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of work to it to get the date mm -hmm. off of it. But an Indian head right off the bat, that is a nice sign. Hopefully, we can get some more of those today. We're going to go ahead and wipe this off and get the date to you, and uh, we'll show you the cleaned up version in just a sec. All right, so here's a look at the coin partially cleaned up. You can see we got a date of 1896. I think Kevin said that was the third oldest coin to come out of this site, and uh, that is an awesome sign to see. We don't have the proper equipment to be cleaning these coins completely, but you can see that it's got a really nice green patina on the obverse, and then we flip it over to the reverse. This is what we saw uh, when it came out of the ground. We haven't cleaned that either, but you can see uh, this is the one cent side right here, and that's actually coming through pretty well right now. So there it is once again, 1896 Indian head. I'll go ahead and throw an example of what that would look like uncirculated so that you can see that. And uh, we'll get this cleaned up later, and I think this one's going to turn out really nice. So guys, that is an awesome way to start off today's hunt. 1896 Indian head penny in the pock. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and throw you into some of Kevin's footage from about a month ago and see what he was able to find. Today we are back out at the camp for the first time in about eight months. It's a beautiful day been out here about three hours now and I just got a really nice signal I thought it was gonna be penny and it turns out it is gonna be the next penny out of this site and see the rim popping up right there nice green looks like it's gonna be a wheat penny uh, reverse popping up let's see what we got here yep definitely a wheat penny Looks like that's going to be the nice side. These coins always come out with one nice side and one side that's not so nice. We're definitely going to get a date off of it. It looks like a pretty nice, uh, looks, it looks to be in pretty nice shape. So let's see what we can get. All right, just took a stick and lightly rubbed off where the date's going to be. And it's coming out clear as day. 1915 Wheat Penny. Beautiful coin. I don't think this is a date that we've uh, actually found out here. So I'm super stoked to have a new date. Awesome coin. Let's go see if we can find some more. Just found something pretty interesting in this hole right here. Um, it sounded really good. It sounded like a silver dime or a silver quarter, so I was getting really excited. But it turns out just to be a nice part of a pocket watch, the inner workings of a 100-year-old pocket watch. So pretty cool. A couple more finds here. I found two more of these um, shotgun shell head stamps. These are always fun to look up because of the, uh, the companies. You can see how old they are. These are usually around uh, like anywhere from 90 to 120 years old, I found. 
Um, the reason these are exciting to find is because it means if I'm finding these that there are going to be more desirable targets around because I definitely, whoops, dropped them. I definitely would have not messed up a signal like this. These sound just like nickels or sound just like uh, gears or pendants or anything. So if there is targets like these around, there's got to be better targets around. So I just uncovered part of an item that we also commonly find out here and that is a cross cut saw. Now the reason I'm excited about this is because this end is actually complete this is the end of the saw and it's also not all the way out of the ground so my hope is that this is a complete crosscut saw we have never found a complete one out here many parts we got really close one time but we haven't found a complete one so i'm gonna pull this out and i'll uh, turn on the camera and show you what we got unfortunately it looks like this one was also not complete and you know that makes a lot of sense why would they throw out a um saw that is still in good use that they can still use uh, oftentimes these would break and they just throw them in a trash pile and i think that's actually what i'm detecting in right here there's a lot of really trashy signals a lot of can saw stuff like that but as you can see this is the end that i was showing you earlier this is the um complete end i mean the uh the side that has been broken and then over here we have the side that was broken it's a very sharp edge um this would have been about about twice as long as it is right now these are really huge saws and uh, as you can imagine the diameter of the trees back then were just gigantic so they had to get around them but a uh, really cool piece of history okay kevin those were pretty good let's see if you can beat it today though i want to see an indian head out of you let's do it all right let's see what we can find all right guys about 20 minutes later and i thought i might have had a nickel here even when looking at this in the plug it looked like it might have been a nickel but as you can see here it's just a really old shotgun shell and uh, the thing I love about these old shotgun shells, they're usually readable, so you can actually figure out what they were. So take a look at this Winchester Repeater 12 gauge shotgun shell, probably from around the turn of the century, just like everything else out here. Very, very cool. We have a pretty nice collection of these at this point, uh, but pretty much every single one we find is completely different from the last. So very, very cool 12 gauge Winchester repeater shotgun shell right there. Not a coin, but I will take it. It's a nice old relic. All right, we're about 10 minutes later. Just got down just like a few inches here in this hole and it actually ended up being in the plug. Once again, sounded like a nickel, kind of looked like a nickel from the edge, but from what I can tell, this is a piece of a key. I called Kevin over here and maybe the other piece is uh, somewhere around here as well. But uh, that is what we're looking at right there. Doesn't really look like anything uh, different from a more modern key. But uh, it's definitely old. Like I said, everything around here is from around the turn of the century. And uh, I'm going to recheck the hole in a second here to see if we have anything else. I called Kevin over here and he said he had something to show you. So let's take a look at that. What yeah, do you got, Kevin? This is pretty crazy. I was right over there. I found this little privy back in the woods. And uh, uh -huh. I, I was just detecting around. I got a really solid signal. Look at this. I found a Morgan. Oh, is that what that is? Is that a Morgan? Yeah, it's a little corroded, but it should Ooh. clean up pretty nice. Yeah, it's a little thin. Yeah. Can't really read anything off of it. That's crazy. Yeah, it's silver dollar, so hey, All can't right. complain. Yeah, nice work. You know. That's better than anything I got. All right, we'll get on to the next one, see what else we can find. All right, so I wasn't able to find the other piece of that key, unfortunately. It is really cool, though. It's nice, heavy brass. Uh, just got down in this hole, though, and up here in the plug, we are going to be continuing our uh, ancient ammunition finds here with a Peters 38 S and W. Pretty small uh, shell casing there, and uh, that's really cool, though. I, I don't think I've gotten one of those out of here either. Much smaller than that shotgun shell, but still a cool find. So right next to the hole that we just dug, we just pulled out another one of those Peters 38 S&W shells. Very cool. Let's get on to the next. All right, guys, we just finished lunch break and uh, right back into it about 10 minutes in. I think I have a coin in the plug right here. Kevin, come in and check this out. So I tried to call Kevin over. He didn't believe me because I told him <laughs> a few times that I had a coin and this time it actually happened. Uh, right up in the plug here, it sounded it was giving me an 81 through 84 signal, but once I got it out of the plug, it actually came in as a 77, 78, kind of like a low copper tone, and that usually means that it's going to be an Indian head. So let's pull this one out and see what it's going to end up being. I really think it's going to be an Indian. Let's take a look. It's looking like it. I think I see this is. I think this is the reverse. Yep. Look at yeah, that. Looks like it. One wow. cent side right there. Wow. Once again, coming out really nice. I think this one might even be better than the last. So let's flip it over to the obverse. And as you can see, <laughs> kind of difficult to see. So we're going to clean that, that one off, at least for the date area, just so we can figure out uh, what we have for a date on it. Oh, wow. Actually, I think it's this one might come nice. through. So anyway, we'll get that wiped off and uh, show you guys what the date is on it in just a sec here. All right, guys, looks like we have a bit of an anomaly here. This one actually looks nice on both sides, and you can see the date shining through clear, 1902. A little bit newer than the last one, but uh, definitely a great find to come out of here. 
So that's two Indian head pennies on the day. Kevin, when are you going to get your first one? Yeah, I got a Morgan already, so I that's think I'm true. still ahead. All right, so that is really, really cool, guys. Two Indian head pennies so far. Really, this one's going to come out so nice. It's yeah. not as green as the last one, which I really like, but uh, the data is coming through very clear. I think there's going to be a lot of details on this coin. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, this is actually one of my first non-fairs targets of the day, and it's actually a pretty nice one. It's a big chunk of brass, and I'll show you what I mean here. So this is actually a part of a lantern, and we find these quite often out here, but this is a pretty nice part because it's uh, part, pretty complete. Uh, this is the knob that you would twist to turn the wick up and down, and these oftentimes have manufacturers and patent dates on them, and you can see there's some lettering on there, so we're probably going to get some information off of that. I haven't actually gotten it out of the ground yet, so I'm not sure how complete it is, but it feels like a pretty nice chunk of the lantern. Let's see if we can pull it out here. Ah, it's a, I can feel it kind of breaking, so I want to do this carefully. Let me just loosen it up from the back. It's tangled up in all these roots. There we go. Look at that. Nice big part of the lantern. There's the slit where the wick, where the wick would have uh, come out of. There we go. Very nice. Yeah. So that's one of the more complete pieces we found out here. Pretty cool. Oh, look at that. It's even got some uh, lettering on there. It looks like it says Queen. And there's the adjuster. We'll get some information off of that. Pretty cool. One of my first non ferris targets. So, uh, Hopefully we can find a coin out here for me. All right, so I had to get Ryan's help to hold the camera here. So I was cleaning up this big lantern piece I just found, and I've actually never found one this complete. I don't actually know how these things function, but it looks like there's this hinge on the back here, and this thing is actually gonna open just like that. Whoa. And yeah, we've never found one this functional. So Fully in intact, and yeah. it actually hinges, wow. So there's that big dirt comb, let's just take that out. I know the wick's gonna be in the center here. Oh, you think it's still gonna be intact? Yeah, look at that. Wow. Look, look it's that. even got the gold gilt still left, a little piece of it. Huh, wow. So let's get this, let's get this dirt out. There's so many uh, roots in here. It's always interesting to see how the roots uh, wow. grow in all the cracks. That but one's yeah. in great shape, look at that. Yeah, that's definitely the best one we've ever found out We here. found so many different pieces mm -hmm. of that, but look never at, the whole thing. Look at thing. the little knob. Look at all the writing on it. Yeah, We're look gonna at all get that. A, I think it says Michigan, too. Wow. Um, and this was Queen Anne, so that must be a manufacturer. Just a tiny crack in the front. That's mm -hmm. pretty much it for damage. Look at that. Incredible. That's really nice. You found that over on the edge of the woods? Yeah, it was way over there. Okay, sweet. Very nice find. That might even be better than an Indian head, yeah. honestly, because... <laughs> How often do you find one like that in yeah. good condition? That's incredible. All right, sweet, fine. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah. All right, guys, check this out. This is really similar to how I found my last Indian head penny. I got an 84-85 signal. It was a little bit weak. I pulled the plug out and then check this out. Look at this. So it's giving me low 80s, 83, 84. This may end up being uh, a Lincoln wheat penny. But in case it's an Indian head penny, or really if it's anything, uh, I want to get this on camera. So I've already kind of located where it is in the plug using my pinpointer. You can see uh, it vibrates when it gets on the coin or on the object. And it's vibrating pretty heavily right now. So I think that we may have something in here. Let me just uh, use the glove hand just in case there's something sharp. Don't want to get cut. So right there, there's a piece of glass. So it's a good, another good reason to uh, use a glove when you're digging through dirt. Still on it, so. It's just down here a little bit, and like I said, this was just like that that Indian head penny that we found earlier. Okay, I think it's actually going to be something... Is that it? Yes, that is it. Okay, so unfortunately it's just going to be a piece of metal. That's a big bummer. I'm sorry guys, I was really hoping we would have a coin there. Alright, hopefully we can uh, get one in a second here. Like I said, I do want to get three coins before the day's over. Pretty cool find here for me. We're actually pretty far away from where we usually dig. It's We usually dig way over there. You can see my dad. My dad showed up and my brother's over there. Um, this is a first out of the site for us. We sure have found a lot of spoons, but we have never found a fork. So really happy to find a uh, pretty nice looking fork. It's not complete. It looks like it had a weekend there, so it broke off. But uh, nice brass sturdy fork all right kevin called me all the way over here said he got a coin and i was really surprised because he's on the edge of the woods let's check it out all right guys i've been searching the perimeter of this site way out in the woods trying to find some signals that we haven't found yet and i think i just found a really nice one it was a pretty strong zinc signal kind of like the indians are 
I've been finding some signals like this before, but this one turned out to be real nice. I'm it's, really surprised by this because it's right on the edge of the woods, which is typically not a place we find coins. Yep, so you can see the edge of the penny right here. And let's pluck it, let's see what we got. Yep, it's a wheat penny. I was gonna say, I, based on the coins that we found around here before in this mm -hmm. area, I was gonna say I think it's gonna be a wheat penny. Oh, and you find is. more wheats on the edge of the woods? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So let's yep. flip it over and see what we got. Okay, so the obverse is actually gonna be the nice side in this coin. I think we're gonna get a date right Ooh, away. 1910. Yeah. That's very close to being an Indian head. But uh, yeah, nice wheat penny right there. Awesome. No mint mark. No mint mark. 1910 though. Is that, have we found one like that before? Uh, 1910, yes, I think we have found a 1910. All right, so that's our second or third out of this place. Yeah. Really, really nice uh, uh, obverse side there. How does the reverse look? Actually, I'm not sure if we found a 1910 before. I know I know we found a 1911, 1912, but I don't know about 1910. The obverse is going to be the not-so-great side on this coin. Uh, reverse. Or reverse, yeah, my yeah. bad. So, yeah, but we'll get that cleaned up, and uh, I can at least read scent off of that, so... Mm -hmm. We'll see if uh, we can get that cleaned up and uh, in good condition. You're just a year off of having an Indian head, though. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's see if we can get any more. I think we get just a little bit more time out here. And uh, I'm still looking. I keep telling Kevin, if I get three coins, I will be very happy today. Yeah. So hopefully I can get a third one out of here today, and hopefully it ends up being an Indian head. All right, guys, welcome to the wrap-up of today's finds. You can see you have my finds up here on the top and Kevin's finds on the bottom, including a couple finds from my dad. So we'll start up here with the spoons. I got a big one and a small one. Both of them are broken, but I was able to find each of the pieces, so I think that's pretty cool. I also got this piece right here. It's either a spoon or a fork, and uh, it's a little bit nicer. It's not iron. I think it's probably uh, uh, brass or pewter. And then over here, we got that piece of a key. I also found a gear. Uh, what are these off of again, Kevin? Uh, like watches or like... Alarm clock? Watch. Yeah, something like okay, that. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we find a few of those. Uh, we also got the two Indian head pennies. That's probably the, the uh, highlight of the hunt. 1896 right there in uh, pretty decent shape. It's a little bit worn down though. And then the 1902 is actually in really stellar shape. Uh, we were able to get that one to clean up really nicely for us. So you can see that the uh, reverse looks really nice and the obverse as well. 1902 on that one. And then I got a couple of uh, ammunition finds here. We got a couple of 38 uh, Smith & Wessons. We also got a 12 gauge shotgun shell right there. And uh, now I'm gonna pass it off to Kevin to show his finds. Yeah, so I also found a couple uh, utensils, a spoon. It's very common to find spoons out there. This is an iron example. We find plenty of like copper, uh, steel, I mean uh, silver coated copper spoons and a fork. First fork I've actually ever found and it's a really nice one. I think it's 100% uh, copper so it's pretty cool. Nice sturdy fork. Um, I have no idea what that is. Some type of machinery or something. And this is actually a caster. So this is really interesting because the material that the wheel is made out of is like a plastic kind of material which is really interesting to find in a hundred year old site because yeah. plastics were yeah. uh, extremely uncommon. So that's kind of cool. And then they got this uh, decorative little uh, buckle or something, maybe more of a feminine piece, I'm not quite sure. Um, also along the same lines, this piece a really decorative kind of floral design there. And this is a uh, suspender clip and uh, it says velvet, um, velvet grip on there and then there's like a patent date so that's pretty cool now we got a couple ammunition pieces as well i think this is a more modern one this is one we find all the time this is a uh, copper jacket that's been fired and like kind of blown out so that's kind of a cool find um and then the find of the day for me was definitely the 1910 wheat penny it's not really showing up on camera but this was like an au coin when this was dropped this has just tons of detail on it uh, i think we'll get a better picture of that uh in, in post so really really cool find and it's always a great find to find one coin out of one hunt but three coins in one hunt is just fantastic day. yeah well it helps when you have two or three people out there That's looking good. as well but anyways guys that is going to do it for this video thank you for coming along on one of my first metal detecting trips of 2020 as always i'm quinn and this is quinn's coin signing out and i will see you in the next hunt which should be an ultimate coin hunt. So be looking forward to that. All right, see you guys. Take see care. Guys. Bye bye.